this episode proves why you should not give any sort of power to children. No power whatsoever. I'm Ed Salad and I saw Star Trek, the original series, and the children shall lead. It is directed by Marvin J. Chomsky, written by Edward J. Lasko. And if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts with following the USS Enterprise as they come across a planet where all the adults have died some mysterious disease don't know it's hypothesized that they died due to some widespread fear that they were experiencing however there are some children that are there who have amnesia they don't remember what happened nor do they care and they're incapable of growing and so we have the uss enterprise is dealing with a bunch of children however these children are being talked to by an outside force. Gorgon is talking to the oldest guy and he's convincing them to use mental abilities that Gorgon gives these children to take over the ship so they can go to a specific planet so they can spread their seed across the rest of the world. By the way, when it's in media, when the bad guys motive is to just spread their seed and take over the entire world i always think what is their end game really they say they want to take over the entire world but that is impossible to do because there is going to be some rebellion there always will be some rebellion this is a concept in the matrix okay immediately thought of that there's going to be that 1% who always will rebel. So I'm just thinking that 1% is going to be your inevitable downfall, bad guys who have this goal of taking over the entire world. So it's a flawed goal. It's a bad goal. They should use smart goals instead of those vapid goals. Anyway, the children are observed. And it's realized, oh, this is what the children is doing is actually the children are the source of these tamperings with with the ship and that's not a good thing it gets to the point where the children are taking over the entire thing that's no good this is a doomed starship this is a doomed galaxy and kirk's like what can we do and spock's like let me show them some video of their parents having a nice happy time so they can Get an emotional bond with what they're seeing on screen. And they're happy. Oh my goodness, it's our parents. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. We remember what happened. And then Spock, same video. He's like, let me show you some video of your parents dying. And then the children start crying and they stop trusting Gorgon. And Gorgon is specifically using these children because they're easy to manipulate. But... Since they don't want his manipulation anymore, they're not listening to him, he has no power, and it's effectively is just gone, he's just dead. And now we have the USS Enterprise, has a bunch of children that they're dealing with, and I saw this episode, my experience watching this episode was just fun, I guess. I liked seeing these children take over the USS Enterprise, because they're, they have like no... What is it? What's in the frontal lore cortex? Uh, decision making skills? They don't have good ones, so they're making terrible decisions. And Kirk's over here, like, ah, I'm the one who thinks about everybody on the ship. And, and these children are just ruining everything. And I like seeing Kirk's reaction to this, and I also like seeing the rest of the crew mates reaction and also decision to take over back take back over the USS Enterprise. I like this episode, this is a fun one. Would I watch it again? I'm not sure. What do you think about this episode? What would you do if a bunch of children took over your spaceship? Leave a comment down below. I gotta give this episode, it's a solid seven out of 10. 
If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want to fast track a boo review, you can do that for 20 Dari Dinos, patreon.com slash ASG presents. And if you like to help for daily grindiness of all the daily movies, go to his link to find the way you can help for the daily grindiness of all the daily movies. So go here. And until next time in salad sauce, see you later my salad croutons and bacon bits. I am standing here normally and safely. That usually doesn't happen. How crazy is that? What's even more crazy is actually Gorgon is back and he's here to take over my mind. Gorgon, I will not listen to you. Oh, you're going to explode my head if I don't listen to you? I'm going to call your bluff. Why does my head hurt so much? <gasps>